How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? I wanted to show you this. So, we've got this AR, and right now I just have the flash hider on the end. And it looks okay. I mean, it looks it looks fine. It looks decent. Got the handguard coming up all the way, and that's just so I can hold this kind of wherever it's comfortable. And when my wife holds it, she's, you know, five foot one inch. She'll tell you five foot one and a half inch. But you know, she'll hold it differently. So I liked having this long handguard. It looks fine with a flash hider, but I wanted to put a compensator on here. I just wanted to reduce uh, barrel movement while I'm shooting. My go-to was I wanted to put a compensator on here. But the problem is, well, let me show you what the problem is. When I put the compensator on, it just doesn't look right. I mean, it's, it's on, I mean, it's a compensator. It's, it's gonna work just fine, but I kinda didn't like the look. See how the handguard ends just before the barrel threads start? Well, I guess normally it'd be fine since uh, this is a Faxon Firearms barrel. I think it's their gunner style. So it's like this government, thicker government profile barrel up until the gas block. And then after that, it's a pencil thin. And so that pencil thin, after the end of the handguard and the compensator, it just looked weird to me and I just didn't like it. I don't know, maybe I'm being too picky. So what I did was I was thinking, okay, barrel shroud. Now, what's a barrel shroud? So a barrel shroud is meant to be placed on the barrel threads and it extends down the barrel. So it'll cover it and it doesn't do much as far as performance or, or accuracy. It's really just for looks, but it would solve this problem. You know, it'd look right. The barrel shroud will extend under these hand guards and so that would solve the looks problem, but it would offer me no benefit to using it. I'd have no, uh, no recoil reduction, no barrel movement reduction, nothing like that. So what I found is this is a barrel shroud compensator combination. And so it threads onto the barrel about here, and then you have the compensator. So I have all these ports. I wonder if you can see the ports. Um, so it has the compensator properties, but it'll also extend underneath my handguard. That'll solve the problem for the looks. And I'll put a link below to my website where I just cover all the different kinds of muzzle devices and where you can get them where I got this one. But look at that. Now I think that looks a lot better. And I still get the compensator. The shroud extends under the handguard so I get the look that I want. You know, I think that just looks better. So barrel shrouds, yes are just cosmetic, right? It's just for looks. You could argue that, hey, it's adding weight to the end of the barrel, that's gonna help reduce muzzle rise, but, you know, adding weight onto your barrel also affects your aiming, getting onto target. Now you have this heavy weight on the end of the barrel. I gotta say, I haven't noticed <laughs> any effect of a barrel shroud is so minimal that I would just, I haven't even noticed it. I don't think there's a problem with using barrel shrouds. I don't think it's doing anything bad for you, but it's it's definitely just a cosmetic device. Unless you get a combo like this where you're having a compensator built in. Now, here's another example. Here's the compensator portion and that threads onto the barrel and then you have the shroud that just extends over the barrel underneath the hand guards or whatever you have there. And a lot of people are getting these because maybe it looks like a, a suppressor or something. It just looks cooler. If it has a compensator built in, it does have a purpose. Now you're reducing muzzle movement, reducing muzzle rise, reducing recoil a little bit, all the good stuff. And that's all I wanted to show you just to give you an idea of how you can solve this. If you're having an issue where you don't like the looks like I had, you can find these compensator shroud combos. So. You get the looks and you get the functionality. Not all barrel shrouds need to be actually useless. <laughs> and the flash hider alone didn't look all that bad. I'm building another AR right now actually. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just use a flash hider on it. This flash hider I'm 
Well, yeah, we'll put it in the giveaway pile. And thanks for watching. Neckbone out.